12 o'clock on my clock. Let's go ahead and let the games begin. Uh, we're going to start out on our hands and knees. We're going to knock out some bird dogs. Um, for those of you joining us first time today, a lot of the reps are not going to, or a lot of the exercises aren't going to be done for a specific number of reps, uh, but rather a set, uh, set of, uh, what is it? What am I trying to say? A uh, set duration. So we'll have like, for example, we're going to start out with bird dogs for 20 seconds each side. All right. So don't try to alternate or anything like that. We're just going to focus on one side for 20 seconds. I got Mr. Clock right here. I'll let you know when to begin and when to end every single exercise. Uh, that way you don't lose count or anything like that. We'll just go for a set uh, set time uh, duration instead. All righty. Uh, Devin, good morning. Glad to have you here. All right, folks. Hey, it's uh, Anne Marie, but it, under Devin's name. Oh, <laughs> I did. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thanks. My, my apologies. No worries. All righty, so we got my whole mat right here, guys. We're gonna set up, we're gonna go hands and knees on the ground. Ideally, we have our shoulder right over the wrist, nice vertical line here. We'll have a nice vertical line with my hip stacked right underneath my knee. Again, so our bird dog, we're gonna reach out one arm straight out, really reach as far as you can out behind us. And we're gonna do the same thing with our leg. We're gonna to try to lengthen our body as far as possible. Um, staying on one side, we're gonna go 20 seconds. I'll say start, stop, and then switch, start and stop again, all righty? So let's let the games begin in three, two, one, hit it. So we got we can go right arm, left arm, doesn't matter what side, pick a side, we'll bring it in, maybe tap the elbow to the knee, reach it right back out. It's not a race here, folks. We're just about halfway in. We're just gonna get a few reps here, trying to build some awareness in our spine, our pelvic position, all that fun stuff. You know what? Let's take it 10 extra seconds here. We just had someone hop in. We're going bird dogs. Good morning, welcome to the fun. We've got three more seconds on this side. Last rep, stop it right there, recover, switch it out. Other side begins and now hit it. Reaching out, driving that knee to the elbow, a little tap, reach it back out, a little tap. So we try to elongate, keep the hips nice and level. We don't want a bunch of rotation or arching of the back. Nice and controlled, reach out as far as you can. We're gonna go for about 10 more seconds. Could be about three reps, maybe four reps. Just reaching out as far as you can there, folks. Each time, let's get one more rep right there and recover. So we're gonna stay in this position, our quadruped, hands and knees. We're gonna go into some rotation now. Same position, we got hand behind the head. I'm gonna try to take my right elbow to my left elbow and right out, back up to the side. A lot of folks like to do this weird twisting they start doing this like little hip action to the side. I just want your upper back to rotate. All right, we got a little rotisserie chicken style going here. Tapping down, looking up. We're gonna go 30 seconds on the right side. I'll say start, stop, we'll switch it up and then we'll hit the other side. All right, let's begin in three, two, one, hit it. Take a hand, place it behind the head, reach that elbow up to the sky, right back down. Might have some of that weekend stiffness. Maybe we had a long run on Saturday. Just take your time, big inhales, big exhales. And we get about 10 more seconds here, y'all. Again, those of you just hopped in, we don't really do our work for reps in here. Some of y'all may go too fast, too slow, so we go for time. Let's say go on one side for 30 seconds right here. Let's stop it right there. Switch it over to the other side and hit it. 30 seconds on the other side. Woo. If you just can't seem to keep your hips still, if you sit back a little bit towards your heels, that can also be a nice little adjustment for you. Woo. You may not rotate as far, and that's okay. As long as you're getting that engagement in the upper back. Maybe a little bit in those obliques. That's that side of that body around the rib cage, reaching up high. We got two seconds, maybe one more rep right here. And then let's relax. Next up, we're going to go our, our, su our first superset of the day. We're going to go groiners. Our groiners going to be a push up position, bringing our right foot up, take it back, left foot up, take it back. The back leg stays nice and straight. That's going to be our first exercise. We're going to go that for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna go into our primitive squat pattern. All right, so that one's gonna be our big squat down nice and low. We'll take one hand up, 
other hand nice and flush against the ground, then switch. This one, we're going to go for 30 seconds as well. All right, we're going to do two sets here, 30 seconds of grinders, just opening up the hips, bada bing, bada boom, and then right into our primitive squat, boom, boom. You can stand up at any point on those. If you just really feel like that twist is just getting all the good corners, you can stay in that squat as well. So 30 seconds of groiners, 30 seconds of that primitive squat. We're gonna do two sets. Any questions? Thumbs up if you're ready. On your marks, get set. Groiners, hit it. 30 seconds, this can be fast if you're like, oh, you know what? I could really use my a good sweat right now. If you wanna start hopping them, hop away my friends. But if you're like, ah, you know what? I'm just trying to get a, my hips opened up. I got to run later on today, or maybe I already ran this morning. I'm a little stiff. Maybe take it a little slower pace right there, folks. We got 10 seconds right here. To really try to be strong through the hands, big palms, spread out, open those fingers, pressing into the ground, switching out the feet. We got one more rep and relax. Primitive squats begin nice and low, hand up to the sky, hand low, stay nice and solid here, switch them out. And if you can go the whole 30 seconds without standing up, good for you. If you feel like standing up is good for the soul, you need to stretch out the legs a little bit, go ahead and stand up at any point. Just try to come back down and get right back on your twist. Again, we got two sets here, folks. In about five seconds, we're going to switch it right back to the groiners. So let's get two more reps. There's one, last rep right here. Boom, two, and then right onto your groiners. Ready to go. Push up position, boom, one leg up, one leg back. Nice engaging through the ground. Belly stays nice and tight. And you know, feel free to take this one slower. These 30 seconds could be like three reps, guys. You can hang out for like five or six seconds each time. It's not a race. We have 10 seconds right here. And then we're going right back into that primitive squat, y'all. We got four, three, two, one more rep. Bring it up, stand it up, shake it out. We got primitive squats, ready, set, go. Dropping it low. One hand down, one hand up. Switch your root. Take it high, reset, maybe stand up. Shaky, shaky, right back down into your squat. Twist, switch them out. Halfway home right here, folks. Set it down. Try to keep your chest big and tall. I like to follow my hand with my eyes. Make sure my neck doesn't stay too stiff. You just rotate as much of my spine as I can right here, keeping the hips nice and low. Let's go one more rep right there, folks, and recover. All right, fantastic. Next up, guys, we're gonna go through our, our uh, single leg little retraction. So we're gonna work a little bit of balance and a little bit of shoulder awareness. All right, so we're gonna try to combat some of the, the, the texting, the typing, the desk work, the tired running action. So we're gonna stand up nice and tall. And our big focus here, we're gonna keep our arms out like a big T. We're just gonna do little pulses, taking our hands back. Really trying to think about our shoulder blades coming together. Alrighty, the one uh, thing I want you guys to try to avoid is lifting your shoulders up, shrugging up. Try to keep them down and away from the ears as much as possible. All right, we're gonna do two sets. We're not only going to just move our shoulder blades, a little pulsing, and kind of go pretty quick. We're going to do it standing on one leg. All right, work a little balance here. So let's find some space, stand it nice and tall. We're going to go 30 seconds. You, just pick your, you can pick your foot up nice and high. You can go straight leg if you got it, or you can just kind of have it right next to the ground, helping you keep your balance all the way. But number one, standing tall, posture. Number one, boom, nice and tall, hands out to the side. 30 seconds each leg. Ready, set, go. Standing tall. And it's just quick little pulses here, folks. Try to go palms open up to the sky so your thumbs are reaching back. And you can kind of go a little faster if you can. <laughs> nice long elbows here. Try not to let them drop down. We got 12 seconds here, folks. Big pulse, big pulse, big pulse. Squeezing those shoulder blades back. It's not about going in circles or anything. Try to just keep on that nice, even horizontal plane field right here. Ha, ha, ha. We got two. One, relax, shake it out real quick, switch feet, and right back on it. 30 more seconds here, folks. Picking up that leg again, you can go straight leg, little extra balance, bent leg, pick it up a little bit higher. 
Maybe just keep it right back on the ground if we're a little wobbly today. Kind of use it to tap the ground to make sure we get as much balance work as we can here. And we have six seconds left, folks. Four, three, two, one. Relax, that's good right there. Second set right here, right back to that first foot. Getting those shoulders nice and roasty. Three, two, one, hit it. Big pulses. Quick, 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 quick. Standing nice and tall. Try to keep your plant leg as straight as possible. Try not to sink into it. You're not sitting in a chair, we're not squatting. We're gonna try to work on our posture. Standing nice and tall, throwing those thumbs back behind us. We got about 10 seconds left here, folks. Let's go double time, a little quicker. Small pulsing movements right there. We got three, two, one, recover. Switch feet, shake them out, ready, set, go. Let them burn a little bit, y'all. Got to feel those shoulder blades squeezing together. Nice long arms reaching out behind you. Standing tall, breathing. We're just about halfway here, folks. Can you increase the speed just a tad? Throwing the hands back, bop, bop, bop. Maybe straightening the leg. Challenge your balance, challenge your posture. Throw the hands back. We got five, four, three, two, one. And relax right there. Whew. Here we go. Alrighty, folks. So that's kind of our little warm up right there. Our next uh, part today, we're going to work on a little bit of a bounce today. We're going to have some pogo jumps and squat jumps. Alrighty, so our pogos, this is the, pretty much the only time you're going to count today, folks. I need you to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, at number five, you're going to drop into a squat, jump up nice and high, go right back into your five pogo jumps. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. I'll let you know when to start and stop. So those pogos, guys, just think about imaginary jump rope. Yeah, look, this is it right here. Nothing crazy, all righty? Five of those on number five, one, two, three, four, five, drop down, jump up, right back in your pogos. All righty, folks, try not to bend the whole knees a whole lot. It's not like a slow kind of thing. I'm gonna be nice and bouncy. All righty, so we're gonna do that for 30 seconds, Pogo, five pogos, into a squat jump, and then in between, uh, after that, our superset is gonna be our scapular push-ups. So we're gonna be in a nice plank position, belly's nice and tight, we're gonna lower ourselves down without bending our elbows. So have to, how the heck can we do that? We squeeze the shoulder blades. Then push away, squeeze the shoulder blades. Push away. A lot of folks are gonna be wanting to do this little number, bending the elbow, but ideally, it's just our shoulder blade sliding towards our spine. So we have this little open and close action of our shoulder blades. We'll do that for 30 seconds, then we'll go right back to our pogos and squat jumps. All right, so make sure we have enough space here, folks. You're not knocking over lamps or anything. And we're gonna start our five pogos into the squat jumps in three seconds. Two, one, and go. So it's quick five, one, two, three, four, five, down up. One, two, three, four, five. Right into the squat jump, right back into your pogos, folks. Hey, yeah, you can throw the hands into it. This is our time to be explosive, getting up, but we gotta keep our rhythm here. We're halfway right now, big jump up. I don't care about the depth in that squat. I just want you to leave the ground and go right back into your pogos. We got five seconds, go. Big bounce, 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 hi hey, yeah. Bounce, 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 hi hey, yeah. Reaching up and relax, right onto the ground. Scapular push-ups, starting in three, two, one. Hit it. If all else fails, folks, just hold a nice solid plank. You want to keep the belly tight. But today, I'd like us to have some awareness about our shoulder blades, our shoulder position. Make sure we're not doing this face thing either. Don't reach the face. It's about the shoulder blades, y'all. Get up as high as you can. Should almost look like a little turtle shell at the top. Lower down. Come on up. We have two seconds. One second and recover. Back on those pogos, y'all. Let's stand back up on our feet. 30 seconds. You got five pogos, one squat jump. Heck, if you're feeling strong today, you want to do two squat jumps, be my guest. All right, folks. Ready, set, go. We got one, two, three, four, five. Down, up, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see a double. There's one, double, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it's going to be right there. Five pogos, jump, and a double jump if you got it. You can stick to just one jump, folks. Get a little adventurous. See what you can handle today. Big jump. Nice, quick bounces. Want to be light on your feet, folks. Hey, yeah, throw those arms into it. Last rep. Whee! Double time. Whee! And relax. Back on the ground, folks. Scat push up. Set number two. We got three total sets, y'all. Ready? Set. Go. Big and proud chest. Strong, strong, strong. Pushing away from the ground. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Come on, nice and high. Easy down, easy up. Elbows are nice and straight here, folks. Pushing the ground away. Easy down, pushing strong. Got about four seconds. Three, two, one. Very nice. Brett, and recover right there, folks. Last set right here. We'll get water in a second. Back on your feet. And if you got the double jump, and you're like, ah, come on, Travis. It's child's play. You can always do a triple or even a split squat jump, all righty? So choose what's going to be best for you today. Single squat, double squat jump, maybe split squat, maybe a triple. All righty, here we go. If that doesn't make any sense to you, just stick to the original one. Ready, set, go. Five pogos. Drop it down, sky high. I'm going to do a double. There we go, big eye. There we go. Five. Throw those arms into it, y'all. Want some nice extension? Hey, yeah. Two, one. Hey, yeah. Reaching up, reaching up. Sound effects always encourage. Hey, yeah. I feel like a superhero sometimes. Well, when you add the sound effects. Hey, yeah. Get up now. Double time. Give me a double. Take it to a triple. And relax. All right, folks, you know what's next? Scaps. Gotta get the scaps, the shoulder blades on the ground. Nice and strong. Ready, go. 30 seconds of movement. Try not to sit still on this plank. Try to keep those shoulder blades gliding next towards each other. Get them away from each other. Slide them in, push them out. Slide them in, push them out. Nice and smooth right there, folks. Got seven seconds left. Friends looking good. Nice straight elbows, folks. How low can you go? How high can you finish? Two, one, recover right there, folks. Fantastic. Not sure where my water went. Oh, well. Folks, we got about 12 minutes left here. Next up, we're gonna go into our little uh, a reverse lunge. We're gonna go 30 seconds of leg. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this, y'all. If you have hardwood or fake hardwood or anything that's slick, you have some socks or a pillow that'll slide, I'd highly encourage that. So you can kind of grab yourself a little washcloth, put it on your floor, just push that sucker back, stand up big and tall. All right, the idea here is the majority of your weight is on that front foot. We'll go 30 seconds down and up, big proud chest here. And uh, if you can, if you don't have that, you just take a step, easy little step back. Make sure the chest is nice and proud. Remember, we're going to go 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left leg. After that, our lovely superset, our secondary movement, the lucky star. My movement fundamental, folks, you guys know this one. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a different option today. Excuse me, we're going to go push up position first, kind of like a down dog here. And you're gonna kick a leg underneath. I went under with my right, left hand is up, hips to the sky. So I'll bring it back under, whoop, whoop. back to a little, you can kind of a little bear crawl, down dog, push up position, whatever helps you stay nice and stable. And one thing is the shoulders over the wrist. So we'll go underneath my left, under, right hand goes up. Whoo. And the big thing there, folks, is we're looking for the feet to drive down into the ground to get our hips as high up as possible. Now, so best thing, heels are the best of this, helping our hips go up. Don't let the hips stay down. You just kind of arch your back. Ooh, if you get in the pinchies there, try to squeeze the abs a little bit more. Try to just think about driving your legs down. It's like a glute bridge with just your hand right here. 
Now, if you're like this, bring your hands way over your, uh, your head, like past your hand, that's gonna be some shoulder issues, all right? Try to keep it stacked, nice and vertical. We're gonna, the big thing is setting that scap back, just like how we practice about 100 times already today. Set that thing back to help you support yourself and to protect your shoulder. Cool. So we've got 30 seconds reverse lunges on the right, 30 on the left, and we'll go 30 seconds of the lucky star. Sound good? Excellent, folks. So let's grab our sliders, whatever we got. Maybe you got no additional equipment. Heck, if you got some weight, let's grab it. Lunges beginning in three, two, one, hit it. Just take it back. We want to see if we can get a nice stretch here, folks. Take that sucker back as far as you can. As long as this foot stays nice and flat, we should be golden there. Good 10 seconds in. Hey yeah. Getting your arm action going in a little bit, standing up nice and tall. Hoo yeah. Reach it back, standing tall. We got some dumbbells in the house. Looks like Brent's got something. Oh, it looks like he got some cinder blocks. Very nice. Three, two, one, switch feet, hit it, right onto it, folks. We're right on the other leg, 30 seconds. Clock starts right over. Put a little, uh, got a wet Swiffer underneath here, cleaning the floors, you know, folks. Multitask, stuck in the house. You can get your workout and clean the floors at the same time. Halfway here, standing tall, 10 seconds. Reach it back, standing tall. Three, two, one, relax right there. Lucky stars, here we go, folks. Ready, set, begin. So we got our bear crawl, a little stance underneath. Hoo and then make sure you kind of get the rhythm. Hoo reaching high. A little footwork, a little awareness of the hips, the shoulders. Should get a little stretch on the hip flexors a little bit here, folks. Should feel the glutes fired up a little bit. Driving that hand to the ground. Five seconds. Three, here we go. Two, one, relax. Right back on the lunges, folks. No time is wasted. Ready, set, go. Pick a leg, any leg. We will do both here, folks. As long as you're moving, you're doing something right here. We're making progress, moving that needle. Stronger you, here we come. Halfway. Yeah. And tall. Driving that front foot straight down, pulling yourself forward. We got three, two, drop it low. Last one. Relax. Switch it out. Ready, set, go. Right on to it, folks. Standing tall. Drop it low. Oh yeah, if you're getting a little knee pain here, folks, just don't go as low. The depth isn't super important. The position is more important than anything. Working on the balance, working on that coordination. We got about 10 seconds, y'all. If you're able, though, and you can take a little lower. Let's see what you got, y'all. We got four seconds. Three, two, last one, and recover. Let's hit the deck. Here we go. Lucky stars, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all one other. That first lucky star was a little crazy. Y'all can do this version as well. We're gonna go ahead and start. Three, two, one, hit it. We'll go squat position. Boom, you kind of come to the squat, little crab soccer style. Yeah. Just return there. Ooh, yeah. Switch the hands. Ooh, yeah. I like to add a little dance to it. I got a little ADD. Need to switch it up. Add a little extra challenge in for it. Nine seconds, y'all. Here we go. To the sky. Switch them out. Five. Here we go. Hips high, y'all. Hips high. Two. And relax. Last set. Lunges, y'all. Let's go. Double time. Here's a challenge for y'all real quick. We can go top of the foot. So point my toes. Place that on your slider. Let me try this version. If you got a slider. If you got some of the slide, don't, don't worry about it. Ready, set. Hit it. If you got it, use it. If not, just keep doing what you've been doing, y'all. Let 
when you're on that top of that foot, it just makes it a little harder to use the back leg. So you need to focus more on that front leg. Nine seconds y'all, here we go. Uh oh, we got some joint light. Here we go, we're doing lunges. We got three, two, one, relax. Switch it out, last set, last leg. Ready, go. Again, y'all, we got these things recorded. Just find that, we'll send that link out to y'all. You can do this Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This is the only day that your strength makes it count. All right, get that extra set at the end. Maybe get a little lower on those lunges. Nine seconds, y'all, here we go. Drop it low, standing tall, we got five. Four, three, two, last rep, last rep. Get it, get it, get it. Standing tall, beautiful. Here we go, lucky stars, y'all. Ready, set, go. Hips through, feet nice and flat. Drop the hips, switch the hands. Spin a roo. Get your inner break dancer out. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. We got about halfway here, folks. Hips to the sky. Make sure you get that position each time. Nine, eight, seven. Here we go. Quick feet. Four, three, two. Last rep, last rep. Woo! And relax. Woo! Well done, folks. Uh, we just got a little side plank finisher for you, folks. Go a little Tabata style. We're going to go 20 seconds. On one side, 10 second rest, 20 seconds on the other side. All right, so we got our options here, y'all. Feel free to have your front foot stack in front of the back foot, the bottom foot. So bottom foot actually is in front. You can go here, kind of pressing on both feet. You can go hand, work that shoulder a little bit more if the shoulder's a little toasty from earlier. That's fine, go on the elbow. If you want to stack the feet, you can do that as well. And again, elbow or hand there. Alrighty, folks, we got 20 seconds one side. Shake it out for 10, and then 20 seconds on the other side. Are you ready? Get set. And begin. Start on the elbow, hips up high. We want to try to push into the ground with your feet and your arm. Just almost have like an arch. 10 seconds here, y'all. Nice and strong, keep the shoulders back. That same concept, get the shoulders squeezing together here, folks. One second left, rest, switcheroo. Whoo, we got five. We're getting the other side now, y'all. Three, two, one, hit it. Big, proud chest, shoulders are back. I like Erica reaching up for the sky. You can kind of help get the hips up a little higher. You can see I take the rug away when my hips are low. Oh, there's the rug, now it's gone. Oh, there it is. Hold it right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, that's set one there, folks. Let's crank it up just a little bit for this next one. Ready, set, go. How we're going to do that? Leg lift or top leg up. You can set it down when you need to. Kind of go a little clamshell action or just hold a little uh, starfish. 10 seconds left. Holding strong, don't lose that posture. If you gotta put it down, put it down. But lift it up if you can, folks. We got three, two, one, relax. Switcheroo, seven seconds, five seconds, other side, and three, two, one, hit it. Got the starfish, holding strong. You make some circles, you can do the knees, hi yeah, hi ya. Little frog action. Folks, we've got eight seconds here. I'm gonna do one more set after this. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Last set, make a, let's find a variation that's gonna challenge you the most here, folks. We got three seconds. I'm gonna go on my hand, ready, go. We got the hand, got the foot, strong position. I'm still trying to lift my hips up as high as possible here, folks. Don't let them sink down. We want height here, nice and strong. Drive it into the ground as much as possible. Whoa, we got five seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Whew. 
If you're like me and you're looking around at your watch or your dog, you may lose your balance a little easier. So try to find one thing to look at, stay on it. Break up. The screen, if you're on your screen, it helps. If you got a mirror, it can help. Just find one thing, maybe it's a picture, a lamp, dirty spot on the carpet, just zero in on it. Hold and strong. Got your posture, shoulders are back, hips are high, top foot's high. Just hold and strong. We got three, two, one, relax. Woo! And that, my friends, is day three, strength and power with me, Travis G. Um, thank you guys so much for hopping in. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything was a little uh, confusing maybe, we can kind of clarify anything for you right now, folks. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I uh, hope you guys see you guys uh, next Monday, 12 o'clock sharp. Uh, have a bottle of water and some space to get after it. Tough, Travis, thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you Thank you. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> and good to see you. Thanks for yeah, coming. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, My I'll be pleasure. back. Excellent. Look forward to it. Thanks.